everyone, I'm your host Heather Dawson and welcome to California Life where every week we bring you the best of California and this week it's all about speed. Kyle Busch just took the checkered flag here at the 2019 Auto Club 400 in Southern California. It was a big day as it was his 200th win across all three NASCAR series. It's just been uh, a crazy ride, and uh, to get 200 here today at Auto Club Speedway is um, is pretty cool. I mean, to bookend number one and 200 here at the same place, it's kind of crazy on the same asphalt. This place hasn't been repaved, so um, that's been pretty cool as well too. And, and just being able to 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 win, that's what it's about. I asked Kyle, I said, at what point during the race did you feel, I got this, I'm going to win? Um, it was before the race started. <laughs> <laughs> um, serious question. What was the question? When did I know I was going to win? Um, I don't think you ever know when you're going to win. I guess, um, you know, you kind of, the relief sets in when you take the white flag because um, you know you're coming back no matter what to, to end the race. So that's kind of when the relief sets in. So, you know, it, it obviously was, um, you're, you're hearing every single little noise in the race car and, and things like that for the last 20 laps of the race. You know, you're hearing rocks flying up in the quarter panel thinking, is that rubber chunks? Is the tire coming apart? You know, and so it's just crazy that you hear everything that, um, that you don't want to hear in, in the final 20 laps. But um, I would say once you take the white flag, that's pretty much when you seal the deal. After winning the first and second stages of the race, Kyle Busch suffered a pit road speeding penalty that sent him all the way back to 18th place. However, he was able to battle back and make his way to the front of the pack. With just 26 laps to go, the Las Vegas native passed the second and third place cars to take the lead. He never looked back from there. Pole winner Austin Dillon finished the race in 10th place. Meanwhile, last year's winner Martin Truex Jr. ended up in 8th after starting all the way back in 27th. Legendary rock group Motley Crue said the most famous words in auto racing to get things underway. Meanwhile, Joey Logano finished second and he was followed by Brad Keselowski in third, Kevin Harvick in fourth, and Ryan Blaney in fifth. However, I saw speeds way over 180 miles per hour. That's Canadian rock group Sum 41. They performed a free pre-race concert at the track. Racing fans that I spoke to said they loved the Auto Club Speedway in Southern California. It was perfect. It was perfect because Kyle won. <laughs> That's all. Your favorite driver. Oh, Kyle. Rowdy all the way. Now, why do you like him? Oh, he's got the attitude and he's got the talent to back it up, too. You know, I mean, I, I like NASCAR. I like come, coming here with David, but I'm not a fanatic, you know, I just enjoy it. I enjoy grabbing a beer, grabbing a hot dog, you know, so it's more of a casual thing. Bringing you the best of California from the Auto Club 400 in Fontana, I'm Jason Rosidlo for California Life.